Please say hello to Dr. Phil. <laughs> Jimmy, a squirrel in a top hat is like a donkey in a dress. <laughs> you can take it to the prom, but if you try to make it wear lipstick, you're gonna get kicked. <laughs> Go on, take, take a seat. If it walks like a turkey and, and talks like a turkey, you could put sunglasses on it. Uh, <laughs> put it right on a horned frog and call it a unicorn, but that don't mean you're gonna get a bingo. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What is this? What are you doing? Oh, don't make a pig out of a peanut, Jimmy. <laughs> Seriously, what, uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, what are you doing? What is this outfit? Why are you dressed like this? Where's Dr. Phil? You're supposed to be Dr. Phil. I, I know, but you said that, that I could be on the show today when we were in therapy. <laughs> Listen, I know The Martian's coming out on Friday, and I did say I would help you promote it, but I did not say no. you would be on the show. You said I would be on the show. I said I would try to get you on the show tonight, and we have a very, very busy night. I have the whole therapy session on tape. I have it. I can show it. I know what I said. That, I mean, that's private. Well, let's let the audience decide if it's private or not. Do you think it's private? I guess they don't think it's private. So, let, I do want to show this because uh, I, I just want to give you an idea what kind of guy this is. The doctor here and I decided to work our issues out with a therapist. Yes? I thought... Yeah, we did. No, I thought it was, I thought it was supposed to be private. There was a camera crew in the room. How private did you think it was? Show the tape, because I want people to see this. So, how are you feeling about today? I, you know, I feel, I, feel nerv I feel anxious and I feel nervous, but I also feel, I guess, hopeful. You feel open? I don't know. It's, just a, it's a hard thing, you know? I mean, it's, it's a hard thing. So you think you're ready to let this person back into your life? I think so, yeah. I think uh, I'm willing to give it a shot and, you know, to talk. Well, let's do it. Hi. Please come on in. Thank you. Jimmy. So what are you hoping to get out of today? How can I help you guys? Um, he promised me over a decade ago that I was gonna be able to be a guest on the show. No, so no, for no. a decade you've been waiting? I, I've taken over, or Jimmy would say he's been nice enough to give me a room where I come and I wait every night, every <laughs> night. So for a decade you've been waiting, have you ever considered not coming anymore? But I'm scheduled to be on the show tonight. You know, I He's, mean, I would, he is scheduled. It's in the listings. So it's in the listings. And you have to come in the listing every night, and then if you don't go, it's been, you know, then then it'd be like I'm big timing him or something. It's in the listing. If it's in the listing, you don't really have a choice. Yeah. You have to go. It's a TV guy. And 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 what's your perspective on this? What do you think? I I try to get him on the show. I mean, we have a one hour show every night. Okay. We have other guests, which he doesn't care about, obviously. I have a monologue to do. We have a band. Sometimes we have important commercials uh, to run, and it's, it's hard to, it's, I, you know, uh, listen, I understand his point of view, but he has to understand my point of view. Well, what do you think his point of view is? He thinks the world revolves around him. He thinks that he's the only celebrity in, in California. I mean, it's, you think you know, he's being unreasonable? Yeah, I do. I do. I I mean, it's like... See, now things are getting totally turned around, and this is what he does, and it's what he does so well. He, like, talks the talk, right? And now he makes me think I'm crazy. 
it's all about him. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine it feels like to be him every day? Well, I imagine it would suck to be him. I mean, <laughs> first of all, look at him. You know, I mean, <laughs> he's and he's trying to be a movie star. And what does that mean? What? Look at him. I mean, just look at his face and look at his body. It's not a movie star face and not a movie star body. Well, this so is how I'm, I, mean, I understand they, that he's trying. He, I do understand that he's he, trying. It just, it's not. He, he, he is verbally abusive to me and couches it as truth. You know, what am I supposed to do? With? When you wanted to buy that zoo, what did I tell you? That zoo was for both of us. That zoo was supposed to be something beautiful. It wasn't for both of us. It was for both of us, and you never even showed up. I don't like even think. animals that much. You didn't even give it a chance. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't even try. So you never even saw the zoo. And what were you hoping to accomplish by buying the zoo? I just wanted to build something with him and, and, and share it and nurture it and watch it grow. And you those were... animals were just, that was our chance. Okay. But no, I live, you know, at the show in a dressing room and, you know, I'm excited about coming out every night and... Is there something that you feel particularly angry at with Matt? I'm angry that he's angry. I'm doing my best to get him on the show every night. And he is so, I mean, he's so spoiled, he throws a tantrum. And I know that, I know what goes on on these Hollywood sets, okay? He's in his trailer, he's got the, you know, star on the door. But that's not how it is here. I'm the, this is my show, and, and he thinks it's his show. It was that one time. I took this <laughs> over and busted the ratings wide open. Say more about that. Right. No, don't say more about that. Why would you want me to say more about that? That was a difficult thing for me. I was, that was a felony. Really? I was kidnapped. Really? I was held against my will. What does it feel like to, to be sitting there wishing you were on the Jimmy Kimmel show and not being able to? What, what did that feel like? I was terrified is what it's I really, felt. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. You taped up Keep my talking. head. Keep talking. Keep talking. What else did it feel like? It felt like duct tape was suffocating me. That's what it felt like. Okay, it everything you just said, yeah. except for the duct tape, happens to me every night. So you wanted him to experience what it felt I like to be I wanted him to know you. what it's like to, to, to not, to, to try to be on the show and suddenly he's not on the show. And he can't get to the show. The show's right there and he can't get to it. So how did you work through that? We didn't, we didn't, we didn't really talk didn't. about it, no. Is there anything um, that you like about each other? Can you say something nice about each other? I like some of his friends. <laughs> you know, Ben. Uh, all right, to be fair, I like his show. That's I, a very nice thing to say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have you know, waited for 12 years to get on if I didn't like the show. What? Yeah, I mean, that's, I appreciate that. I do. So guys, we're just about out of time, so we'll start wrapping it up. But I, I really am very impressed with the way you guys handled each other and really communicated. And, and so I think Thanks. this has been really good. Um, what I'd like to do now is have you guys look at each other and make some sort of commitment to the relationship and maybe what you're going to work on. So, so Jimmy, let's start with you. Uh, yeah, I hope you know that what, what I, where I'm coming from is that I have been trying to get you on the show. I've been trying really hard, and I feel like you don't appreciate it. But I will try harder in the, in the future. If this is important to you, I will try to get you on the show. You know, just not tonight, because this counseling thing has gone on for a pretty long time. Thank you. That, that, that means a lot. And it just sounded, you know, very genuine. And, and it was. I, I, I'll, I'll commit to, um, to another 12 years. In, the, in, in my room at the show, um, you know, I mean, I, I, it is my home now, and, uh, you know, it would be tough for me to just give that up. Um, I'd, I'd love it, I'd love it if, like, maybe I could get a television, um, you know, just because it, it, there's no windows, you know, um, and, you know, you can we just could, go. Yeah, we could probably get, I bet we could get a, like an old television in there. That'd be, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Just to distract me a little bit, because my mind, like, just can right, yeah. go places. And, you know, maybe, you know, if, if, I would love, like, a Wi-Fi connection. Like, that would be. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's kind of a no can do. No, I know. I know about the building and everything. In, but um, yeah, she's in the basement, so the Wi Fi is not very far. It just doesn't work at all down there. But, yeah. um, but I mean, well, if I could. Well, listen, you guys, I, I'm very happy with the way you've communicated today. Yeah, me and, too. Yeah. As a sign of, of your commitment to each other and the work that you've done, I think it's really important to end a, a couple session with a hug. So, you know, I'd like you guys to do that now. Just get up and just give each other. You mean like a hug. Hug, hug each other? Yeah, like a hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hug. Just each hug other. it out. That's right. Yeah, Pat. Yeah, Pat would be good. Yeah, very nice. How does that feel? It feels really good. Just a little bit, just a little bit too really much nice. hugging. You guys all right there? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, sure. See you guys next time. I said nothing about being on the show tonight. We'll be right back with the real Dr. Phil. Guillermo, come on. Come on. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if not, do nothing at all.